Look, they misspelled civilization with an S. They must be European. Oh, is that how you spell civilization in Europe? Yes, without a Z. More words, and they spell skeptics with a C, too, even though that says, it says septics. Welcome back to Frostpunk. We've... It's a punk that's frosty. Mm. The automaton is moving. We've got plenty of all trees. All right, so first thing we need to do here is just shut down all of these heat generators because it's way too hot. It's not terribly far off. All of our people need to freeze. Well, they will. I'll give it one more day, and here's the temperature going to drop one level. To death. To negative 40 degrees. And then we serve human popsicles. But this coal pile is almost depleted. I thought you were going to build a little coal factory. A coal got, mine. Uh, so build a coal mine. Right here. Right uh, right here. I got the coal thumper. No, but you need a coal mine, and you only have one person. Oh, you have ten engineers working there. Never mind. I've got ten engineers mining the coal thumper, which is mining me some coal. Plenty of coal. I don't know if it's going to last me. I might need to build a second one. Uh, Yeah, the 15 children aren't grabbing enough. I, I wanted to build a fighting arena to build hope, but I guess I don't need to do that right now. What I need is to build a gathering post. So we'll put that right here, and then I'll have people occupying that, and they will gather the coal faster. Hopefully, ooh. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have enough coal. Hopefully we will, but we might have to build another coal thumper. We'll see. I think you should build a coal mine. We have to have... It'll be warm underground. A coal mine would go... Wait, is this a coal mine? That's a steelworks on top of the steel right there, which I might have to turn off... Actually, no, it's being run by an automaton. Bunkhouses have been researched. They will better protect people from the cold at night. There we go. We've got the streets. What's the problem here? Steam cores are precious. Uh, we, we can't manufacture them, so our scouts have to go find them. Yes, that's important. So you, have, you have one steam core left. I do have... Hold on. I do have one scouting party, but I think I have the ability to make a second one, too. Because I, I think I upgraded that. And I think you should also start tearing down those tents... Yes, that's a good idea, too. And building the concentration camps. Uh, that's not what I was going to go for, but okay. <laughs> I have okay. 50 steel. That's going to be the limiting resource. Okay, so you could build at least five bunkhouses. Here's what my current plan is right now. This this steam core can reach all of these. Uh-huh. And So those ones are fine for right now. I'm concerned about these right here. So I could probably take these three down and turn them into bunkhouses. Okay. I think that's good. Well, if I destroy this, how much resources am I going to get back from it? Eight wood. Okay, so no, no steel from it, which is not great. But I won't have to run this steam hub, which will help me conserve P fuel. Potentially. Yes. In fact, and if you can get rid of the steam hub, that means you can move the steam hub out by the, the coal mines. Yes. Which so, I don't really think the coal mines would need heat because it's going to be temperature controlled under underground. If that's the case, I don't know. We'll see. Bunkhouse, bunkhouse, bunkhouse. Eaten through our steel... So that's probably all we're going to do for now. I'd like to upgrade all of these tents to bunkhouses, but steel is going to be a limiting resource, and that's our only thing. And the robot can keep running the steelworks in the absolute cold, but we might need to have every all hands on deck to get coal out of the ground, because coal is going to be a very important resource. The lumber mills are currently unoccupied. I'm not getting any lumber. I just need to prepare for this cold, cold winter. So I've gotten more people in the coal mine, and this guy's running the steel. I'll probably move him to the other one. The people who were working in the lumber mill were like, I used to love working outdoors, and now I'm underground! What is this? I ran out of coal above ground, sorry. I haven't seen the sun in 16 years. Neither have I. Get used to it. I think you should do the generator efficiency. Why don't I do generator range upgrade? So that way I'll be able to dismantle some of these... Yeah, I'll do this one. Because I think okay. if I get the generator range upgrade, I'll be able to dismantle this one because these houses will be covered by the generator and these buildings will be covered by the generator. So I won't have to have these two steam hubs. I think that's ideal. The scouts are out there. Which scouting party is this? They, oh, the one I went to the crash site. What did you find at the crash site? Did you find wood? Did you find raw food? They found an observatory and some resources. So, yeah, they found plenty of wood and plenty of food. We might need that wood because we have the charcoal kiln. We might need to recall them immediately, but... Uh, why don't you go to the observatory and see what you find there? It might be some good stuff there. It was built by the Royal Society. And then we'll probably bring it back because we might need those resources you're carrying. We'll see. Yo, man, look at all that coal we're burning through. 19 hours worth of coal. We're just going through it so quickly. And here comes the utter coldness. It's dropping to 40. How's everybody doing? Not great. Yeah. Although... They're fine. There, if I turn that off... Oh, if I turn that off, this tent gets really cold. This bunkhouse is still chilly. Everything is chilly. Okay, here's my plan. Well, is it, you haven't upgraded the generator yet. You yes. just started researching it. Yeah. Oh, oh it's still at 0%. It's, it's fine. I don't know how long it's going to take them. Is it 9 hours? 
It's gonna take us about a full day, so at the end of the day, I think it'll be able to reach everyone. Okay. I would keep all those on until then. No, no one's at, no one's at home right now. They're all out. Oh. Working. So technically, I just turn this off. Yeah, shut that down. It's fine. Save me some coal. I'm gonna destroy this tent, this last tent, because that one is outside of the range of everything, and it's cold right okay, now. Okay, so destroy that tent and put a bunkhouse in. Yes, I will do that now. Uh, what's going on? Who's it's a guy? Yeti! Um, is it? Oh, some Yeti just died near our cliff. A man from Winterhome. He is an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Everyone is dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those are his last words. He looks fine in that picture. Uh, yeah. He collapsed and died, then he got back up and said that. <laughs> and now we're all alone again. Thanks. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for destroying hope. We appreciate that. Wow, what a great person. I'm glad that event happened. Thanks for showing up and telling us that we're all screwed. And now it's gonna cause a bunch of discontent, and this is where the real problems come. This place is a deadly trap. We need to get out of here. No, don't panic yet. We're not dead. No, we're all dead. Holy crap. We should never have left Britain. Oh, thanks for Tiny Tim. Coming here was a fool as Aaron. We should go back. Really appreciate this. Thanks. Wow, they are really pissed off now. Winter home has fallen. I must give them purpose. And now I have to decide if I want to be a religious society or an orderly society. Ah, uh, orderly. I've gone through orderly before. I'm sure it's pretty similar. Just different buildings you can build. Let's go with order. So now everyone's going to go crazy and I need to establish watches and watchtowers and guard houses. So more things need to do. So that's not great, but we can make it work. Do I build? Yeah, I have to build watchtowers now. So I've got to make sure these can cover... This is what I was worried about, building these heaters out here. I need to have these buildings covering all this area to guard them. In addition, I need to have these houses heated and guarded by the watchtower now, which is... Seriously? Yeah. And these I, these things need dedicated space, too, so not great. But that'll do, I guess. That'll go there one, and probably another one out here, too. A little more difficult now. Things are getting tougher. Things are getting tougher. Boo! Boo! Mike's a terrible leader. Boo! Boo! Some random guy showed up and told us that we were all doomed and now we're mad at Mike. <laughs> yeah. This is a 100% accurate depiction of real life politics. The unconvinced want to leave. I've convinced the majority but hope is still low. And a group of people are still, they're so scared they're going to leave and flee for the city of London in 15 days. And they want to change people's minds. So right now we have 15 people that have decided they're going to leave. The Londoners. And they're going to try convincing everybody else to leave with me. So I have to try and... Reduce the amount of discontented people. Oh, uh, do, why don't we just kill all of them? An adult died. Oh, is that the winter home adult that yeah. just showed up? Yeah. Great, great. So, I used to have a decent amount of hope. It's gone now. And if I don't raise hope quickly, then the Londoners are going to get a lot more people, and I'm going to lose a lot of people. All right, so here's my plan. Yes. We take all the Londoners, we make them work in the mine... <laughs> And then we seal the mine. I don't, this is a secret society. I don't know who is a part of the Londoners. Just... Uh, well, we'll have to kill people until we find out. Start with the children. Oh, uh, I want to run the medical post, but I can't. Why not? Why is why is it too cold? Why is it too cold? To... Wow. All right. It's so frigid that I, even if I've got this heater on, it's not enough. If I turn that off. Yeah. Wow. Things aren't looking great for us. Uh, people are getting frostbite. Yeah, this is this is where it's starting to go bad for me. Why do I only have one scouting party right here? I've got the one right here that's going to the observatory that I just told uh, him. Because the other one is right there. Is he? So, I need five free workers. I don't know what happened to scouting party number two. Uh, you might have to build a... Wow, you're getting a lot of coal now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just pause for a second. Yes, I'm getting a lot of coal, which is good. I'll be able to power these things that all need to be powered. More importantly, what happened to scouting party number two? Did they die? Uh, they disbanded, remember? I Wait, you brought oh, them. Oh, you, they came back and you disbanded <laughs> them and sent them out to do stuff. All right, let's reband them because I need a second scouting party. I'm gonna just shut these down. No, you need coal. I'm gonna shut these down. Hold it. Watch this. I'm shutting these down. Uh huh. This guy who's getting steam. Uh huh. Who doesn't need heat can keep getting coal for me. That's what I'm doing with that. But the then you only have 52 steel. That's fine. We're just trying to weather the cold right now. I won't be able to build much during the cold. But once it warms up, I'll go back and send him out there and get these buildings up. Right now, I'm trying to focus on minimizing my coal usage. So I'm going to get all these guys working out here. Getting these lumber mills sawed out. I'll get more lumber. I'll focus on getting lumber and coal during the cold. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. Do you need the coal thumper anymore? 
Yeah, it's thumping coal. Perpetually getting coal out of the ground. Oh, okay. Because, so, like, the coal mines can only get coal for a certain period of time, but the coal thumper can always get coal. It just gets less of it. I think that's the case, yeah. Okay. Second scouting party can go to the large convoy. Yes. Check that out. All right, we have a second scouting party out there. You might need to build more guard towers, too. What do you have to do... Build and man two towers. Okay, so you have to man... Your one watchtower is probably built, but you don't have anybody in it. Correct. I need to man these watchtowers, so I need so, to find... And you workers. have to build one more watchtower. Uh, I've got one of them over here. It's under construction. Oh, okay. This one is built. I can put workers or engineers in there. I need to find people to staff it now. Uh, you might have to take some people away from hunting party. Yeah, I think we're good on food for now, so we'll do that. Generator range has been upgraded. The generator heat zone extends farther now. Let's turn this on. And we'll increase the range. It's two now, so it'll be able to get these two buildings warmed, I think. Once it warms up to steam level one, we'll crank it into overdrive, and it'll start warming up these two areas. I think I think the heat zone range, yeah, it doubles the amount of coal I need to use, but that's Ooh. fine. Because it's going to heat up all these buildings in the center ring. There you go. Now you can get rid of those little tiny steam generators. And overdrive, look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, now you can get rid of the little steam generators, and you can put them somewhere else. Yes. It's exactly what I wanted. The fighting arena is chilly, probably because it's not insulated. I need to research the, um, yeah, now that the technology tree is Let's get heaters, the individual heaters, because there are a couple buildings that need to heat individually. I would get rid of those little steam generators yes. right now. I don't need these anymore. No. So you can just get rid of them. Ooh, look at that. We've got three days worth of coal. That's quite a lot. You might want to build a coal no, storage facility. I'm not, I'm not going to build another resource deep. I'm repurposing a different one. Hold on, where we got... This one's storing food rations. We don't need you to do that anymore. We need you to... Yeah, see. Yeah, we're, we're okay on food rations. Okay. I'm probably going to take some people out of the hunting areas anyway, so... Store coal. We need coal. Store as much coal as you can. Thank you. And now we need to put people in the second watchtower. Watchtowers have been built. You're welcome. Hope rises a little bit. Promise fulfilled. The discontent is still there. A tiny little bit. That's that. It's really nothing. Ooh, 57% living next to a fighting arena are happy about that. Hope. We've got a decent amount of hope. A, a small permanent modifier because we have people living in watchtowers or guard stations. They're covering some. These four houses uh -huh. and these four houses. Five. But, yeah, these five houses. There's a bit of an overlap there. We so might, you need, might need to build one more watchtower, maybe. Yeah, down here by these tents. Uh, medical post. Yeah, probably down here somewhere. We'll get to it eventually. Well, because you have people work, you have the automaton working here. The reason I have the automaton working out here and no people is because it's cold right now, negative forty degrees. Oh. So once it warms up, I'll send people back out here. I think this machine will be able to get me enough coal to sustain me. And there's other one out here. I can turn this heater on during the work day. Yeah, it's on during the work day right now. So people will be able to work out here mm -hmm. where it's cold. So that's my plan right now. The workshop is chilly. Everything that's light blue is chilly, yeah. which isn't great, but it's better than being dark blue. These are cemeteries and beacons. These need to be yeah. warmed. Right now, I think we're in a pretty good condition. Once I have heaters researched, I'll be able to turn on tiny heaters in the watchtowers, this watchtower, to keep that warm, and maybe in the workshop and the hunter's hut, perhaps, to keep these oh. warmed up, too. You got another villager coming up. Please don't. You got another villager. I have to work in watchtower one. He's cold all the time, <laughs> and I don't like it. Watchtower 1 is the best watchtower. That's why it's called Watchtower 1. You no, know, it's called Watchtower 1 because it was the first one that was built, jerk. Yeah, it takes priority because it's the best one. You got to get the best one out there first. Yeah, and it's cold. Yep. Make it not cold. I'm working on it. Okay. Give me your phone number. Why? So I can call you at 2 in the morning and ask why there isn't a heater. <laughs> okay. 555, five, five, shut up. Oh, you might have to get rid of those small hot, those small tents and replace them with bunkhouses. Uh, yes. That's important. Well, no, right now it's fine. I was no, concerned it's about... it's chilly, and they're not happy that it's chilly. That's true, but at the same time, I don't care, because that's low wow, priority. you are a cruel leader. I am a tactful leader. You've got to make sacrifices. Cruel, but fair. <laughs> <laughs> Scouting party has reached the observatory. Explorer, did you find survivors? They found survivors, and they need the resources that you guys are carrying. So Instead of astronomers, we are met by some, lo some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help, but everybody dead. So, coming back to the city, buddies. Thank you. They came here for help, but everyone dead. Wow, 900. We got coal for three days. We got almost 1,000 coal. This is really good. Yeah, coal is good, doing good. And we have 92 steel. You know what? I might actually start tearing down these tents because we could build bunkhouses. Yeah, build the bunkhouses. Well, you never know. You might need this important. It, it, if you build the bunkhouses, then that means you don't have to run 
it in overdrive. I want to be careful though, because I want to have some resources. Because researching technologies takes re resources too. So oh. I want to keep some. Well, why don't you just tear down two tents and build two bunkhouses? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Heaters have been researched. Use heaters to heat workplaces during work hours. I shall. Yay! And now this guy who was complaining about his work tower being cold can have a. Oh, it's still cold. No, it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I think I just turned it up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I turned off the generator. It was too cold. It was freezing, and now it's only kind of cold. You're welcome. Look, they're all livable. That tent is chilly. The medical post is chilly, but they're operable, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. As long as you can function, that's fine. I'm fine with this. Oh, what's up? Cold homes. Yeah. Okay. This is where I had a problem earlier. I said let's. I said, let's heat all homes. I'll have to keep the heating. Mm -hmm. I'll have to start heating sick cold homes and keep them heated for two days. And I had them heated for about a day and a half. And I turned it off temporarily. And then I, I, I forgot about this part. So if you do heat all homes, you just have to keep them heated the entire time. I, I think I've got enough coal that I could do this. Do I want to risk it? Keep six homes heated for 24 hours for the next two days? Let's do that. I've got plenty of coal. I think we'll be okay. I mean, they're already warm. They I don't are. Know what they're complaining about. Right. So I've got six bunk houses here that aren't going to drop in temperature anytime soon. I'm not even running this thing at overdrive or anything. So yeah, see. I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be okay. Morning gatherings. Morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time, and hope will raise slightly. I do like that. We do need that. What do the guard stations do? Guard stations will raise the hope of people living nearby. They're like uh, they're like the watchtowers, but better. That you can use guards to bake up. Break up protests, and I am going to start having protests soon. And the discontent will raise slightly. What? Yeah, people don't like having guards, but it's oh, fine. Oh, for God's sake. It's fine. It, it, it'll be fine. But right now, I need hope a lot more than I need anything else, so we'll do that one first. Yeah, I get hope up. We need more hope. And then I'll get... That's the next one. Once... Yes, we need mandatory fun days to uh... make sure that everybody... <laughs> All right, everybody has to be 15 minutes prior to the 15 minute prior for, six, er, for 0630 formation. I'd appreciate it if that weren't the case, please. Thank you. But now I got more people I can occupy these, uh, yeah. I can fully staff these watchtowers, which is good. I need more people in the watchtowers. Because there need to be watching for these discontent Londoners. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the little footprints in the snow. Whose footprints are these? Whose could they possibly be? Gee, maybe it's a giant mechanical man. Behemoth, yes. Could be. Dunk, 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 dunk. I'm glad that they build stuff even when it's not during work hours. I wish I hadn't dismantled these houses to build bunk houses because now I have no steel. And I've got 46 homeless people from all these people I just joined. <laughs> okay. Well, this scouting party can at least be sent out somewhere. Or, yeah, I would disband them, but I've got nowhere to disband them and do anything. Why well, don't... I was going to Large Convoy. You can go out here to Winter Home. I... Okay, I'm, I'm still a little frustrated about this. Because if it's a coal mine, they're underground. It's a no it's like a normal average temperature underground. It's the, the sun has been blotted out so much that even the underground is cold. Sorry. I don't know about that. Scouting party, we reached the large convoy. You found some more survivors, did you? Go ahead and escort the survivors to the city, I guess. Or we've got enough people. I know this is a crueler option, but just send them to the city and you can go out and explore. Meet up with the other scouting party at Winter Home because I'm sure you'll find a couple places to explore out here. But I'm not worried about illness at the moment. No one's ill because they all have warm houses to go back to. Who is hungry? Uh, one person who hasn't gone and get something to eat yet. He's on his way. He better be. You should have enough food, right? Oh, you got so... Why is he hungry? Because he hasn't got... He's on his way to the chow hall right now. I'm sure the person who's hungry is on his way there. Uh, no, he actually, he's coming up to us. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm hungry. Go to the chow hall and get something to eat, dummy. No, I'm hungry. Put food in face. Go do it now. I can't do that because I'm hungry. Gathering post insulation. Gathering post. Ah, uh, you're not warmer. listening to me. I'm still hungry. I'm ignoring you intentionally. Ooh, coal mining optimization. That'll be Ooh, 10 percent. Yes. 10 uh, percent isn't a whole lot. It's gonna that's, cost me 20 steel. Yeah, but that's good though. It's you want good. that? Or a sawmill upgrade would only cost 10 steel, and that would raise the efficiency of sawmills. Okay, do that one. Book of laws. Uh, the Londoners are up to 18 now. That's fine. Purpose. Uh, ooh, foreman, what's that? Appointing responsible foremen will make sure that people work as efficiently as possible. Ooh. Increases the efficiency of a workplace by 40% by 24 hours? What? Hold on. Well, I need guard stations. I need guard stations, because these Londoners, you're right. I got 18 Londoners now, and they're going to get reckless. They're going to become 
rambunctious. They're going to start having protests, so I need guard towers. And I'm going to dismantle this uh, this watchtower, actually, so I can build the guard tower, guard station there instead. Oh, come on! What? See, exactly, something happened. I promised people warmth. I broke my promise. Hope falls. Discontent What rises. promise did you break? Looks to me like there are six livable houses here, you chumps. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, promise broken somehow. So be it. Hope is now down to absolutely nothing. See, this is what I mean. I always get screwed over sometime around this point. So, we'll because you tore down a guard station? I guess. I don't know. Because I lost so much hope, the Londoners are now up to 30. They're going to leave in 12 days, but by then they'll have grabbed everybody in town. Which is fine, sure, whatever. Other cities have fallen, but not London. It's impossible! You're an idiot! We have to get organized, you have to do something! You're an idiot! We need to research heating, we need more heating! Allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Yeah, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need that! Scouts have reached Winterhome! What'd you guys find? Steam cores, maybe? It's the city of the dead. We found a snow cliff and an American camp somewhere out here. The city is laid to ruin. Scores of dead bodies everywhere. There was a shortage of food and citizens increasing despair. Squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy. Fights the last entry resources. reads, God forgive us. We're eating our dead. There is no hope. Sincerely, Dick Good. I'm moving on to a different town now. <laughs> <laughs> that Mike will be in charge of. May they rest in peace, except for Dick Good. Well, okay, this scouting party can now go out to the snow cliff, and this one that was going out there can... Wait, wasn't there an American camp? Over here? All right, go back the way you came and go... <laughs> Silly, but okay, fine. Dick Good doesn't agree with this plan, but Dick Good believes you're a good leader, so... <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the vote of confidence, Dick Good. Yes. How's... Dick Good's dick also thinks you're a good leader. How's Bort doing? Bort?! <laughs> I <laughs> named one of them Bort. <laughs> oh, he's working at the guard station. He's guard. Yes, Officer Bort, we will keep things orderly. My name is Officer Bort! It's nice to meet you! The pleasure is mine, Officer Bort. I generally work in, you know, like, secret environments. Secret environments? Yeah, I do like undercover work. People find that my loud voice is soothing. <laughs> We're almost at maximum capacity for coal. Generator research has been upgraded. Generator efficiency upgrade. We'll do that. Yeah, generator burns 10% less coal. I'm gonna need that. Even though I got 18,000 coal right now. Yeah, that's- you only have two days worth of coal, though. We're gonna burn through it quickly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterholm. After the starving city fell into chaos, a leader, an army captain, a bunch of people tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. So what's a premonition for what's gonna happen to me? The army captain's name. Please, no. Was Captain Good. Comma, Dick. <laughs> was he your father, Dick Good Senior? No, it was me. I am the army captain. Ooh, spooky stories no, from Dick Good. <laughs> okay, I can have a patrol here. A new ability, patrol. Each use will reduce discontent and raise hope slightly. I don't see a bad part to that. I could build a prison, or I could build a propaganda. C can we not call them propaganda centers? A propaganda center doesn't seem like the best name for it. You will build the propaganda. You'll have to build it, and discontent will rise. Yeah, if we call it the propaganda center, maybe we call it something different. It won't. Uh, I don't know. Call it the government-approved newspaper. Yeah. All right. You know, I'm just gonna have a pat patrol. Seems fine. We'll just establish a patrol. They will ensure that our neighborhoods are safe and orderly. You have to do that manually. No, I think that's just something that happens. Passive effects. With guards on the streets, everyone will feel safer. It'll be encouraging to meet the law face to face and then throw rocks at him. All right, look and see if you have any tents left or if they're all bunk houses. Generator efficiency research. Coal, from now on, generator will burn 10% less coal. I love it. Factory, yeah, let's get that factory. We want that factory so we can build some prosthetics. Finally! I don't think we need it, but we got 11 people that could get back to work, so I'd love that. Yeah, sure. And we're almost reaching maximum capacity on coal now. I love it. 41 Londoners, yeah. God, okay, you know what? Free speech is illegal. It's okay, if 41 people leave, we have- <laughs> We've got 40 more people now. Let's build a few more houses. Cold homes. Let's just heat some homes. We'll keep three heated. That way you can't blame me if something goes wrong. I don't know which three homes you want me to keep heated. That actually, if it drops two, it's probably gonna be the immediate failure. We'll see. Ooh, <laughs> look at all that coal! <laughs> yeah! Burn more coal, baby! Look what, look, it's gonna, it's gonna be a really Why is this guard day. tower at zero percent? Uh, they're waiting for workers? It's because it's free time, I think. Oh. <laughs> we keep getting mistaken for that, yeah. 
Ooh, I got 40 available hands here. What am I going to have these people do? I don't even know. Um, Just keep everything and maximum employment. This Hunter's Hut, you're working there now. Everything. Everything gets worked to the bone. As the scouts have reached another hideout, the children's hideout. The cave is a hideout for some children who were evacuated from Winterholm. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to the city. Okay. Well, kids aren't great. I have a kid. What are you doing here? Uh, we, we crushed a kid named Piggy with a rock, and then we also put a pig's head on a stick. I guess I could have them work the gathering post, but wow, what a burden that's to me. Escort the children to the city, that's fine. There is, I think, I, I know I ha enabled child labor, but I think I can still instead do something else. Um, no, I think I'm locked into child labor now. Because I, if I had signed the other one, I could go down to the apprentices. I have medical apprentices and engineer apprentices. But ah, oh, you should have done that. I should have. And now I can, I could, <laughs> I could have them work the mines and do more dangerous jobs instead. Now. I don't think I'd do that one. No. <laughs> I kinda, as much as I joke about, I kind of regret signing the child labor law at first. Because yeah, I would have had to build the school, but in the long term, it probably would have been the better option. Yeah. Well, let's get a couple more homes up, I guess. Why is that not near a road? It's by a road. It's the road right here. The... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> They're complaining. <sighs> another, I villager, have to walk. another villager's coming up. <laughs> yeah, there's no road for this whole one and a half foot stretch. Uh, you're not even supposed to be over here. This is run by the automaton. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, but there's no road, and it's not properly set up for the disabled. Get back to... Oh, build and man two guard stations is failing right now. Why? What? You're... What's going on? It's manned right now. What's going on? Do I have to build... Oh, I have to build two guard stations. I built two watchtowers and one guard station. Okay. gonna build another guard station. Fine. Tear this one down, too. We're gonna build that there as well. You have failed. I almost failed that one. Yeah, if I hadn't noticed that, it would've gotten me screwed. Londoners are at 54. One of my watch members was beaten. Do I send guards to secure the streets? Order the guards to strike back? No, I'm not worried about discontent. Hope will rise. That's what I need more of all. Look at this. My hope is almost completely gone. Right? Raise the hope, please. I need hope. God, these Londoners are the worst. Factory is researched. There we go. I'll start making a factory. Uh, nope. Build a guard station first. That takes priority. Yes. What? Not enough steel. Hold on. Give me a moment. I'll have it. Mm. Can I? Can I just say that these people are complaining like crazy? It says make homes livable. Okay, that's still not enough. You want me to make one more house livable? That's a bunkhouse. They house. all look livable. Well, these ones out here aren't. Oh, for God's sake. So, I'll... I guess I could turn this individual building... No, I can't warm this individual bunkhouse. Okay, we got a couple bunkhouses out here and a couple out here. I need to research the third outer ring. That's what I need to do. I can turn this... No, it's individual heater. I guess I'll have to build... I will have to build a couple of small heaters out there. You, you people, with your constant demands. Unless... Unless I can get that heating range to uh, the third is that guard, is that guard tower manned? Hold on, hold on. Uh, heater range upgrade two. I need this one. That's what I need more. But I'm not going to have enough time because the cold's coming in. So Is that guard station manned? It is. you're no. about to fail it. It's fine. There we go. It's fine. So I guess I'm going to have to build... <laughs> I'm going to have to build steam hubs right now, sadly. But okay. Scouts have reached the American camp. What have we got? Some steel and some steam cores? Yeah, 57 steel. They found starved Americans at this American camp. Well supplied with everything except food. Yeah, we had everything except food here. And they found victims of hunger. Supposedly, there's more food out California way. Well, okay. I guess they moved on from this camp to a temporary settlement. Go ahead and explore that. Maybe find some survivors. I'm not worried about these houses. These houses are fine. I need to be able to get to the third ring, which... I need you guys to improve my heaters. This generator range upgrade. Do that. I need 50 steel. Come on, get me steel. Get me steel faster. For once, coal is not a problem for you. There we go. Maintain at least livable conditions in homes. I don't know why... So oh, because the heater got built. There we go. You're welcome, folks. You're welcome. Maybe I should just dismantle this bunkhouse and put it over here so I don't have to build any more heaters. Yeah, but then you probably would have failed it for dismantling a house. It's not even considered to be livable right now, so I'm not worried about it. So, overall, things aren't looking too bad. I got 200, over 200 people here, so even if a quarter of them leave in a little over a week, that'll be fine. Hope is not great, but I'm working on that. 
I'm, yeah, thanks to that one dickhead that showed up and was just like, you're all gonna die, and then died. And, and also thanks to that one promise that I apparently broke, but... You didn't break that promise. It was the guy that died. He came back from... He came back to life and then just ruined it. He's just a thorn he in came, my he side. Just, he just came here and shuffled all your paperwork around and ruined everything. I'm taking this bunkhouse. I'm moving it over here next to this heater so I can just run this heater 24 hours a day. Oh, I could upgrade the range setting if I wanted to as well. But I don't... Nah, it's fine right now. I've got plenty of coal for this upcoming cold snap for the next two days. I'm not terribly worried about it. I'll be able to turn this on overdrive to warm all these houses because right now they're oh so cozy. Oh, so very cozy. Oh, they're very comfort comfortable. So, yeah, it's going to drop down, and even if I put in overdrive, they're still going to be livable. So it'll be great. So that'll cover these four houses. All the houses are going to be covered by the generator and the heater, so I'm not worried about those. I'll pass another law that will raise hope somehow. Adaptation, maybe? Public house. Is that going to raise hope? Yes. I'll have to build a public house, but patrons of the public house will be less discontented. So I'll build that. Yes, I will build the public house to raise hope, and they'll be happy that I fulfill the promise of building the public house. A pub will remind us of home and help us forget our woes. A pub, just like in London. Shut up about call London. It the pipe and hole. Sh shut up about London. Stop reminding people about London. So yeah, I think we're gonna be good for the next next time. We're gonna build a factory. We're gonna have plenty of resources. Things are going. Okay, even though we had a couple of snacks this time around, things are going to be good. What do you think? I think it's working. Yeah. I think we're working. We're getting there. What's Bort doing? Bort's in treatment because he's ill. Because his guard station... Well, no, his guard station and his bunkhouses are com incredibly comfortable. So, yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, that's what I thought, Bort. Trying yeah. to lie to my face. I have a headache. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Dick good, I can't inquire about him. Apparently he's out of the city somehow. Yes, I've been gone for several days. My name is Dick Good. Uh, and, yeah, I, I wonder where he is. Also, I wonder where this person is. Bush hot, somewhere out in the city. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach, I, I didn't realize you named someone Bush hot. Uh, so, get Dick Good and Bush hot and Zach, uh, they're out of the city. They're, I guess they're on the scouting party. So, you're all having fun playing patty cake somewhere. Oh... Uh... Yes, we are. So hopefully next time the Londoners don't cause my city to collapse and more negative effects aren't found. But I don't think things are going to improve. I think things are going to continue being a struggle that gets harder and harder. It's going to drop below 40 degrees for the first time. Not looking forward to this. Not looking forward to this.